mid-Missouri babies donned their bow ties to help celebrate a special designation. I'm Teresa Snow, and that's our top story for this week's MU Health News Digest. MU Women's and Children's Hospital is now one of just four hospitals in the state to receive the designation from the World Health Organization as baby friendly. But it's about more than just breastfeeding. It's really about creating an environment that's optimal for bonding between a mother, a father, and a baby. They could have said, hey, you know what, nobody else really does this. We can just kind of skate a little bit here. But they said, you know what, this is better for the patients. We believe it in our heart. We believe that this is part of what we're about. Uh, and so we're going to do hard things, and we're going to become a standard. Uh, we're going to get this national designation. We believe that babies want to be with their mothers and mothers want to be with their babies and we support them in learning how to take care of their babies. Eating healthier just got easier. The new MU Healthcare Farmers Market is now open for business every Thursday from 2 p.m. to 5.30 in the main lobby of University Hospital. We've, uh, we've been working on this initiative for probably the last uh, two, two and a half years, something that we've really wanted to do for um, our employees as well as uh, patients and visitors and uh, really more as a kind of a healthy initiative. Putting on the white coat for the very first time symbolizes a mark of commitment, but it also means a lot of hard work for these new medical students. They started class this week at the University of Missouri School of Medicine. Uh, my goal is to end up being a patient-centered physician for the people of Missouri. I would love to be a rural doctor. I, it's going to feel like I'm really part of the medical profession, and that's, that's going to be amazing. And that's a look at this week's MU Health News Digest. Thanks for watching.